All right, hi there. So in this video, I'm going to take a look at App Run, and App Run is another JS framework. And the reason I'm looking at it is this little guy there, um, is that it ranks consistently with Svelte um, on these three metrics. So in performance, it's actually here at the top with these other two. And for size, it's also here really small, though still twice as big as Svelte. And then lines of code, it actually has less than Svelte. So I thought I would make this 15 line to-do app um, and rewrite it in App Run and see how they compare. Um, I've only used a little, used it a little bit, so I'm not sure if I can do it justice or not, but I will try. So here in App Run, uh, it's pretty simple. You have three different um, like variables here. So you got state view and update. This is kind of like the model view controller, and then in your file, you'll just mount it to whatever um, element like this, and that's how it works. So here in the getting started, um, you can see there's multiple ways to do it, JSX, um, other things. But here it seems like um, you can just import the tag here, and then in your own script tag, you'll have something like this, and it'll work like that. So here in the REPL thing, it's just the script and that's all. Okay, so let's get started. Um, so first thing we'll need to do, uh, so here the state is just the to-dos and there's two functions, add to-do and remove self. So state, let's make it a list. Uh, normally if state were more complex, you might make, need to make an object and then have keys. Um, but since it's just the to-do, we'll, we'll just have a, a list here. Okay, so we don't need this. Um, so it's a string template, so we'll need to do this dollar sign syntax. And inside here, we can loop through the state. So state.map to do, comma index goes to, um, so it'll need to return whatever we want each to do to look like. Oopsies, okay. So I'll do something like this. So each to do will be an input of type text. Oh, my T, the T is not working well. And uh, the value will equal the to do like this. Okay. And um, let's see there and each to do will join it on a break tag so let's just put something there so we can see what it looks like okay cool so this button instead of minus one it'll be add and here we'll have an add and we'll have a delete so add will just take the state and add a blank one, it's pretty simple. And then the delete will take the state and an index, and it will remove that index. So someone didn't like how I did it here, uh, so I'll use the filter instead. So this will go state.filter underscore because we don't need it, and then i for index. So if that index doesn't equal, or if that, yeah, if i doesn't equal the index that's passed in, then we want to keep it. So it'll look like this. We don't need that. Okay, so that'll be the delete, and we'll need to make that delete button right here. So it'd be a button on click equals so it'll be app.run, you tell it what to run, delete, and then you can pass the index like this. And this will be passed in right here. Okay, so this is telling you what to run, and it automatically passes in the state, and then this next part will be passed in like that. So on click app.run, and let's put an X like that. Okay, and this here will app.run add. Let's see if that works. Yep. 
And let's just put another break right there. Put that below. Cool. So now we can add like this. Uh, but you'll see they get deleted. So in, in Svelte, you can just find the value of the input to the state. But here, um, they do have a bind, but it looks like you can only bind to the entire state. So um, I'm going to make another function, another update function called um, update. So this will update itself um, on input equals app.run. So it'll call update it'll pass its index so it knows where to update and it'll pass itself so that we can get this dot value so update state index and element goes to so state at index will be set to element dot value and then we'll return the new state, return state, like that. Okay, so something is broken. Um, to run this value, okay. Oh, we need a comma here. Cool. Okay, will that do it? So now if I say eat broccoli and drink soda, I can add another one, um, say hi to someone, and then I drink soda, done. Cool, so that's working, and that's pretty much the same functionality as the Svelte one here. Um, so there's probably a better way to do it, I just don't know how. Don't need this. Let's see how this compares to the Svelte one. Um, so if anyone knows if there's a way to not do this and just bind it, that would be nice. That's one advantage is felt. Um, I'm going to look. I got this character counter here to see how many characters they have. So this felt one has 354. And this one... Oh, wait. We don't need these. Take those out. This one has... Um, 556, so significantly more, but like I said, there's probably better ways to do this. And it almost has, I mean, some of these aren't really necessary. It has about 15 lines of code also. So it's pretty lightweight as well. Uh, you can write it with components. Um, they've got some other stuff, strong typing. You can, I think you can use TypeScript also. Um, so... I'm not gonna start using it. I like Svelte as it is. I love Svelte. So um, I just wanted to have a look at App Run just to kind of compare. So let me know if you have any questions. I might do some videos on some of these other JavaScript frameworks just to kind of have a look and see different approaches to building front end apps. Okie dokie, that is all. Please like and subscribe, and I do have a Patreon. If you want to become a Patreon, that would be awesome and help me out so much. But otherwise, um, that's all. Bye.